Nah, I don't think I need it. The witch certainly likes these things. It must be a pain to keep them going all the time. Grandpa would be disappointed in me using fire on things randomly. I think that might not be the best place to use it. A pile of spare gowns. They look like the ones the witch wears. Working on spells must be messy business. Maybe there's some of her hair on them for the spell. I don't believe it. Not a single hair. What does the witch want with party tricks? Looks kind of fun, though. Some neat tricks in here. Tricks on guessing cards. Tricks on pulling handkerchiefs out of a hat. Even tricks for making doves and rabbits appear. Okay, so the protection spell. A raven's feather. A, str a blessing from the dead. Then I need to heat them to a boil together. And then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Simple, right? Wow, such a pretty thing. I think I've heard about these before. They're meant to be worth a lot of money, so it might help me find medicine for Grandpa. I should try something else. Ugh. I'm not sticking my arm in there. Who knows what the witch has put in it? That won't work. I should try something else. Hmm. I can't really see down there, but it looks like this is where all the spell scraps end up. <laughs> nope, that thing's stuck fast. Hmm, if this is where all the spell scraps end up, who knows what we could find down there? Mm. Ugh, this place stinks. It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and... people. It fell down there when I blew it up with my power. Wow, that still sounds really, really bizarre. This is too far away. Even if I could reach, I wouldn't dare touch any of that. Even if I could reach, I wouldn't dare- You know, that looks a lot like the stuff the witch tried to feed me. I can't reach that. Hmm, it seems I can't reach. That skeleton seems to have a pretty tight grip on that thing. Must have been quite important to them, whoever they were. Nope. Too far away. This guy is determined to hold on to his handkerchief. I have to think carefully about how I'm going to get it to drop. Determined to hold, I have to. Hmm. I think it. 
get stuck down because of the thumb, perhaps? This guy is determined to hold. I have to. This guy is. I have to. I just have to get it out of the ooze from way up here. I can't reach that. <laughs> Perfect shot. All right, easy does it. A bit goopy, but I still got it. Dirty old handkerchief with the initial J stitched in the corner. From what I read in that book, I could try summoning the ghost of whoever owned this. I don't know about this though. I mean, I still have your ring girl to help me. I think I shouldn't mess with the dead more than I need to. I feel bad for taking the handkerchief, I can't reach- For first place in the Science Youth Fair, this certificate is awarded to Hans Lind. Who is Hans Lind? Why would the old witch have this? I'm not sure I even want to know what that used to belong to. According to the book, I need to find an object of the dead. A skull isn't going to help, I'm afraid. I'm not really sure what any of these bottles are for. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not good. One of those bottles has a nice, big, useful-looking cork. One of those bottles has a nice... I think I'll leave the rest there. It's quite big. More like a plug, really. Oh, a shiny gold ring. Oh, looks too nice to be the old witches. I wonder whose it is. According to the book, a skull- I don't really understand it. <laughs> Yuringo? Hi again, Anna. Yuringel, you lied to me. There's no passageway, just a basement. Okay, okay. Just hear me out. In the basement, Winfrieda has something to untrap me. Well, it's a plain gold ring. Uh, my wedding ring, actually. The thing is, <laughs> I... I kinda don't know where it is exactly. But I know Winfrieda keeps it downstairs. Please, I, I beg you, uh, find my ring and bring it to me. All right, I'll find it. I just need a little help too now. I'm going to try to make a spell, a protection spell. And apparently I need to have the cauldron downstairs blessed by the dead. Uh, yeah, yes, sure, I'll do that. Just get the ring, okay, Anna? You have to find it.
Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I found it, Yuringo. Is that... Could it be? Let me see. Ho hold it out for me. I... I, I don't believe it. I'm free! Yay! That's great, Yuringo. Yurinde! I, I have to go find Yurinde. But, um... Do you mind just helping me quickly with the cauldron? My little nightingale! Oh, my silent dove! Your Yuringo will find you and save you from this wretched place! Um, yes, but Yuringo? The cauldron? Fear not, my nightingale! I'm coming now! Yuringo? Please wait! Yuringo? Great! Thanks a lot, Yuringo! Now how am I going to find someone to bless the cauldron? charge it with moonlight, apparently. Even if I did break the window on top of... That wouldn't be useful, I... Seems I can't reach that. According to the blueprints, that spot is where the chimney used to be. I wonder if I can break through it somehow. Mm. Ah! <laughs> yes! This is it! Our way out! Just one small problem, though. How am I going to get up there? It's way too high. I'm going to need something else to help me up there first. This is our way up. Oh. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling the witch made that mattress out of wood. Every morning I wake up with splinters. So soft. I'm not sure what they're made. So soft. I've already done that. I've already done that. I think I've done enough. All right, that was fun. Back to escaping now. It's very cute. No, that did Hmm. I should try something. Maybe this isn't the right approach. No, the sink drain is too. I should try Nope, doesn't Hmm, I should I'll just let I don't know Open this door right now Ah, 
Ah, yes. I need to charge it by moonlight. Let's see. Hmm. It doesn't look any different. Maybe if I can find a place outside, it would work better? Curse you, Anna! The pipe's all closed off. There's... The pipe's all closed... Open this door right now. Nope. If I do that, I won't be able to look at it anymore. Mm, no. I think this is quite valuable. I should be... Wouldn't be useful. I th that won't work. I should try some. Hmm. Maybe this doesn't seem. This doesn't seem. No. I'll just leave it as it is. No, that didn't work. No, that didn't work. Maybe this isn't the right. Open no, this door that right didn't now. work. Hello again, Mirror. I'm going to keep looking. Indeed. With your search, though, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, so the Raven's Feather. A strand of a blessing from the dead over then I need to heat them to a boil together and then I need to simple right okay so a, a bena and simple so communicating with the other side all right here we go Summoning the spirits of the dead. Those who pass on to the other side leave a remnant of their past lives in our world. This will most often come in an object, something close to their heart, their spiritual essence. One of the basic summoning techniques is to take such an object with you to sleep. During sleep, the spirit will seek you out and open communications. Hmm. An object of... You Anna. So if this book is correct, then this should help bring the ghost of whoever that is in the pit? Well, I've tried sillier things so far that have worked out. Here goes nothing, I guess. All right. Got to sleep, got to sleep. Come on, Anna. No more being awake now. I'm not even sleepy, though. Hmph. What would Grandpa say to help me sleep? He'd say, Come now, Anna. Lay down your head. The time for sleep is here. Come now, Anna. Shut your eyes. The dark, you need not fear. I will. But, Grandpa... You said you'd read to me tonight, remember? Oh, yes. You're quite right. Quite right. Why don't you bring something over here? No, not right now. Grip. No, not... Anna! You know you're forbidden to leave the house come nightfall. Yes. Sorry, Grandpa. <sighs> That's quite all right. Never... Why don't you get that book? I've read these ones so many times, though. Surely there's something else. No, not right now. No, not right... Uh... 
I found a book, but I don't think I can reach it. Do you think you could get it down for me? Oh, you don't mean... Well, I don't know about that one. I know. Why don't we just read one of the fairy tales you love so much? We've read them over and over, though. We haven't read this one before. Oh, Hannah. I'm really not so sure. This one is about someone who... Well, not all stories should be heard by young ones. But, Grandpa, I'm not such a little kid anymore, you know. I can't read kids' stories forever. <sighs> You're quite right. Quite right. But let me tell you something first. You must know, these stories, they're about scary kinds of people. People who are evil, who will trick and deceive you. These are why... why we stay safe on our farm, you see? Oh, but... but... that time I broke your music machine. I lied about it, remember? I tried to trick you, so... was that evil? Oh, no! No, no, no! Of course not! We are good people, Anna. We just... make mistakes. Well, some people we think are bad might just be making mistakes, then? <sighs> Anna, sweet thing. That's enough of that kind of talk. So long as we never leave our farm, we don't need to worry. All right? All right. If you say so, Grandpa. Come on now. Hop into bed, and I'll get the book for you. <clears throat> right then. Who rides so late where winds blow wild? It is the father clutching his child. He holds the girl tight in his arms. He clasps her safely. He keeps her warm. My girl, why cover your face in fear? Oh, don't you see the devil near? The devil with his eyes that fright. My girl, tis only a mist of white. Sweet lass, oh come and join me do. Such clever games I'll play with you. Uh, Anna? Psst, Anna. Anna, please wake up. This isn't happening! It's not happening! Um... Hello there. How are you? Yes. Hi, Anna. I'm fine, but... Hmm... Okay. Uh... My name is Anna. Pleased to meet you. Um... Anna? Just wait, Ben. I'm trying to talk to the ghost. Oh, <laughs> silly me. You were talking to... Wait, what? To the ghost? Trying to? I'm not sure, but I think... You can't talk, can you? Hmm, I see. Okay, well... I... I'm sorry to summon you like this, miss. It's just, I was kidnapped, you see, by the witch. I think you probably know her. Yes, um, the thing is, I need your help with something. A spell. Wait! Don't go! Rats. I hope she hasn't gone too far away. A dirty old handkerchief with the J for your Inda. I'll just leave it as it is. Ah! Ah, there you are! Oh, oh dear. You must be the girl he was talking about. Yorinda. I... I don't know how to tell you. Well... I think... Yuringo came here for you. He wanted to find you. He called you his, uh... His lost nightingale. Or something or other. Right before he, uh... Ran off. Um... I... I don't mean to bother you, miss, 
but, well, I really need your help with something. And there she goes again. Poor girl. What did the witch put her through? Ah! Jeez, you just keep popping up everywhere, don't you? Wait, did you... You came here to help me? Thank you, Yorinda. It means a lot to me. Yorinda! Yorinda! Is that you? Yorinda! My precious Nightingale, it is you! At last, I found you! Oh, thank the kingdom, I found you, Yorinda! Now that we're together once again, no one can bother us. Oh my! Yorinda! Your... Yorinde? What did I do? Um... Hello again? I'm sorry, Yoringo. I didn't mean to make her upset with you. Oh... Uh, the girl. Uh, I'm sorry, Yorinde. I wanted to help her. Uh, really, I did. I just... I was just so excited to see you after all these years. Please, forgive me, my love. Let's do this, together. Aww, true love is so sweet. Thank you, Yorinda, and Yoringo. I'll finish this spell, just you see. Then I'll make my escape. For all of us. Ugh. I'm not sticking- Who knows what the witch- The witch's cauldron, where all the- I'm missing some things for the spell. I still need a raven's feather, some of the witch's hair, then I'll finally be able to get far away from this wicked- 